Hi Mini Makers, welcome back to my channel. In this week's video, we're going to be making Hermione's wand. Hope you enjoy. So this one has already been printed and sanded down and now what we need to do is prime it. So now our wand is all primed and ready to go and we have to choose the base paint. So it's between this colour and this colour and this one is much more brown, a bit more muted and this one obviously as you can see is much more brighter, much more mustardy colour and I personally I think I'm probably going to choose this one just because it's more brown but it is a very hard decision because we've done Ron's wand already and Molly Weasley's wand as well and if you haven't watched those videos you should definitely check them out but it was just the browns were much easier to choose this one it's like it's kind of multiple layers of different shades of brown and it's very difficult to choose but um, yes yeah, so this is the one I'm going to be using and for the details we're going to be using a um, brown wash and we're going to put that in between like the cracks of the vines to just make it look a bit more 3d and dynamic and interesting so this is the color paint we have as you can see it's a kind of mustardy one and i went for the more brown one than the other um the one in the tall bottle and as you you can obviously see it's much 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 lighter than the others and it's definitely much yellower and i don't know whether this is going to be too yellow or whether it's going to be just right, but we always have the brown wash just in case. and I think it looks really really good but I don't I'm not quite happy with the color at the moment it's the right kind of tone but it's a bit too bright when you put it under shade it's good but it's not always gonna be under shade so the next thing to do is a wash and in this video we are not going to be doing the wood grain if you don't know what wood grain is you should definitely watch my other videos which do have wood grain in them, in them. and we're not going to do wood grain simply because there's just too many vines to get in the way and it would mean having a like really really bitty and it just doesn't really get that effect if it's tiny 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 chunks of it. <laughs> really good and it's all done now and after two coats of um, the brown wash and a lot a lot of waiting it has finally dried we did two very very heavy coats and I think it really turned out well because the yellow I think it, the yellow is definitely a good base color but without the brown wash it just it looks too yellow it's properly mustard so i like the way this turned out and i hope you guys did too if you want to see more of these wizarding world wand videos we've got one planned super exciting for next week that's going to be probably the most the one of the best ones i think personally and i hope you guys enjoyed this video so don't forget to like subscribe and ring the notification bell and remember i upload new videos every weekend bye mini makers